for your listeners that are hearing this and they're not happy with the job they have, you got two pieces of advice. The first would be the less happy you are, the harder you should work. Okay. I was on a hike with someone one time and it was really hot and they were complaining about how hot it was the whole time. And they just started walking slower and slower and slower. Like it's <laughs> Finish so, it. <laughs> yeah. If you're, let's hurry up and get it done so you can get out of the heat. This is the dumbest thing you could do is walk slower when you're uncomfortable. And I just, it made me think about how many people are at their job. I hate this job. It doesn't pay me enough. They don't appreciate me. So I'm going to give the worst effort possible. That's the best way to make sure you stay in that job because no one else wants the people that work that way. Okay. If the coach isn't playing you a lot, you have to work harder than the other people. You don't get to just quiet quit and say, well, then I'm not going to try if he's not going to give me playing time. That's a thing we do to subconsciously try to take control in a relationship or a situation. And it's stupid to try to negotiate when you don't have the leverage. Okay. If you're not the coach, you don't have leverage over who plays. If you're not the boss, you don't have leverage over what you get paid. So be humble enough to recognize when you have leverage and when you don't and use it appropriately. And you can gain leverage by working really hard and being more valuable. The second thing that I think people should consider is if you really, if you're a good worker, but you don't like the industry you're in, consider leaving the job or the industry you hate and getting into the one you like, which is real estate. Get your real estate agent's license, get your contractor's license, get your loan officer's license, get your CPA license. Complaining all the time that your CPA doesn't know crap about real estate law, get your license and learn it. That means there's a lot of people that are going to want to come to you because they're going to have the same problem that you do. Get into title and escrow. Like Find the thing that you think you would thrive in in the real estate space and jump into that where you can be passionate about the work that you're doing. If you like this video, check out the other relevant videos that can be found here.